Hello children. Today in our computer class, we are going to do the back exercises of your lesson 3 algorithm and flowchart. So keep open your computer book and also open your computer notebook and let's begin. Exercise 1. Take write the correct answer. A. The step by step procedure to solve any particular task is called and options given are flowchart, algorithm and instructions. Children, we have read in this lesson that the step-by-step -step procedure to solve any particular task is algorithm. So put a right mark in the box in front of option 2, algorithm. B. The diagrammatical representation of an algorithm is called program or algorithm or flowchart. Yes, it is called flowchart. C. The direction of flow in any flowchart should be from options are for number one, top to bottom. Number two, bottom to top and number three, right to left. Children, the direction of flow in any flow chart should be either from top to bottom or from left to right. So, in the given options, we have the option of top to bottom. So, put a tick mark in the box in front of option one, top to bottom. D. The symbol used to indicate input and output of a program. Options are parallelogram, rectangle or circle. It is parallelogram. We used parallelogram shape to indicate input and output of a program in flowchart. The symbol used to connect the different shapes in a flowchart is Look here children, three different shapes are given here and your correct option is the first one. So write tick in front of the box of option 1. Let's move to the next exercise. Exercise 2. Fill in the blanks. A. A dash understands the instructions given to it in its language. Right here children. Computer. A computer understands the instructions given to it in its language. B. A flowchart is a dash representation of the steps involved in problem solving. Dear children, a flowchart is a diagrammatic representation. So right here in the filler, diagrammatic. And your complete sentence is... A flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of the steps involved in problem solving. See, the rhombus shaped symbol is known as decision box. So, right here, decision box. D. The dash shape is used to mark the beginning and the end of the flow chart. The oval shape. So right here, oval. And your complete sentence is the oval shape is used to mark the beginning and the end of the flow chart. E. Rectangle is used to show the processing. Right here. 
processing. Rectangle is used to show the processing. The last filler F dash is used to represent the input output box parallelogram. So right here in the filler parallelogram. Children, parallelogram is used to represent the input output box. Let's see the next exercise. It is true false. A. An algorithm is a graphical representation of a flowchart. False. This is an incorrect statement. So right here in the box in front of first statement F. B. Process is a rectangular shaped symbol used for doing calculations. Correct. So right here true. T. T for true. C. The flowchart helps in finding out errors. True. So write T. D. Flowchart is written in simple English language. No, it is an incorrect statement. So write here F. The last one E. A flowchart helps in the development of a program. Correct. So right here, T. T for true. With this children, we have done true and false also. Now, I request all of you to do the next exercises that is 4, 5, 6 and 7 in your computer notebook. This is your exercise number 4. Name the following flowchart symbols and write the use of each symbol. So children, open your computer notebook and let's begin. Now look at this first symbol children. The name of this symbol is Start Oblique Stop Box and the use of this symbol is It is an oval shaped symbol that is used at the beginning and the end of the flowchart. It shows the starting and ending of a flowchart. Look at the next symbol. The name of this symbol is Input Oblique Output Box and the use of this symbol is it is a parallelogram shaped box that is used to indicate the input and output of a program that is the instructions related to the input and getting the Result. Now see the third symbol and the name of this symbol is processing box and the use of this symbol is it is a rectangle shaped box that is used to show the processing part of the flowchart like calculation. The name of the next shape is decision box and the use of this shape in the flowchart is it is a rhombus shaped box that is used to check the conditions, display comparisons and take the decisions of the problems. Now see the next symbol. The name of this symbol is flow lines and the use of this symbol in the flowchart. These are the arrow lines used to connect the different shapes and show 
द फ्लो ऑफ लॉजिक इन अ फ्लो चार्ट टाइम फॉर राइटिंग नेम एंड यूज ऑफ लास्ट सिंबल द नेम ऑफ दिस सिंबल इज कनेक्टर्स एंड द यूज ऑफ दिस सिंबल इज राइट डाउन इट इज सर्कल शेप्ड सिंबल दैट इज यूज टू ज्वाइन द पार्ट ऑफ अ फ्लो चार्ट चिल्ड्रन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड एक्सरसाइज फोर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू एक्सरसाइज फाइव Exercise five is answer the following questions. The first question is, what is a program? Answer for this, children. The instructions written in a language which a computer can understand is called a program. What is a program? The instructions. written in a language which a computer can understand is called a program now next question what is an algorithm an algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve any particular task such as a mathematical or a logical program so the answer for your question what is an algorithm is an algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve any particular task such as a mathematical or a logical problem the next question is what is a flow chart a flow chart is a diagrammatic representation of a problem solving process that is algorithm it is called a flow chart as it charts the flow of a program what is a flow chart a flow chart is a diagrammatic representation of a problem solving process that is algorithm it is called a flow chart as it charts the flow of a program next question is draw a flow chart to calculate the area of a rectangle so let's make a flow chart start then get length Now the next step is write get breadth Now the instruction to calculate the area area is equal to length into breadth Now the next step in the flow chart is displaying of your result So it is print area and the last step to end the flow chart is to write stop so here you have made a flow chart to calculate the area of a rectangle the next question question number 6 is redraw the following flow chart after correcting the symbols children this question is your homework and you will be making it also in your notebook but in notebook you will draw only the correct flow chart of it question number 7 is your application based question children this time you will write this question also in your notebook and the question is rajiv wants to make a flow chart in ms paint mentioning the steps required to make a cup of coffee help him to accomplish his task so come on children let's make a flow chart for this question 
we will make the flow chart step by step. So, step one, start, make the symbol. Step two, boil a cup of milk. Make the symbol. Next step in this process is add a teaspoon of sugar. Make the symbol. Step four is add instant coffee powder. Your fifth step is the processing step and that is bring contents to boil. So make the symbol for the processing step. The sixth step is the output step and that is stir your coffee and pour it into a cup. Since it is an output step, Make the symbol for output step. For this flowchart, we have reached for the last step, step 7, and that is stop. Make the symbol for the last step. That is how, children, we have made a flowchart mentioning the steps required to make a cup of coffee. Today we have completed the back exercises of Lesson 3, Algorithm and Flowchart. Thank you children and see you all in next computer class.